guys, it's me, Heidi Powell. I am here with one of the most incredible gua sha experts ever, Steve. I have to say, I got so many people that were like totally, well, some were like really excited to see that picture of my neck with all the red aftermath of gua sha. But then there was a whole handful of people that were like, what the heck are you doing to yourself? Is that even safe? Is it healthy? I figured we'd come to the expert himself and ask him what it is. about gua sha? Well, basically it's an Eastern modality, um, originating in China. It's about uh, a little over 2,000 years old, that and cupping. So this, basically what he's doing to me right now, just I'm guessing... Steve, it's a trigger kind point of... therapy, yeah. <laughs> okay, so gua sha horn, two of the tools that I use, and right. gua sha comb. How much did this cost? Water buffalo horn. It's actually really cheap. Um, you can get them anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. Oh wow, but yeah. you don't recommend I buy one and start scraping Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you guys are into that, that's... <laughs> Was there a difference between me and Chris? Yeah, well, you know, generally speaking, there is with guys, you like know, versus ladies. Like, girls are ladies. tougher? Yeah. Girls usually are tougher. <laughs> oh, what are we doing now? I've never... I feel like you're giving me a hickey. Little cup. Well, really, I was just releasing the fascia. Fascia is connective like tissue. And the fascia, again, is that covering over the muscle itself. And the fascia, when it's too tight and um, restricted, it actually restricts your muscle movement, which can lead to injury, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, yeah. But really, it just feels like someone, it, it doesn't hurt that bad. It feels like someone's kind of just going over your skin with a comb. And it's not deep, so it's, it's a very superficial scrape. So a lot of my fans saw that bruising that happened on my neck. It's called petechia. Petechia. And it's totally normal, right? Mm -hmm. It looks awful. But I'm telling you, when I got home and I saw it, I was so surprised because it didn't feel like you had done anything that would create that kind of a response. Now, are there certain parts of the body that you should be doing this on? Um, you could do it on anything. You could even do this to treat fever. Really? I mean, yeah, it'll fe treat fever, digestion. No. Yeah. Where do you do it to treat fever and digestion? Like somebody that has an upper respiratory, you know, problem. Yeah. So you do it in those areas. You can also do it across the chest. How does someone know if this is a technique that would benefit them? Uh, I don't know anybody that it wouldn't benefit. Really? Yeah. How often should somebody get this? Is this something you want to do weekly, a couple times a week, or like monthly? You know, uh, I usually just tell people the first time they come in, I treat them. Um, and then I usually tell them it's usually about a week to two weeks if they want to come back for another treatment. A lot of my viewers are moms um, or plan to be moms mm -hmm. and, and a lot of pregnant women. Is this safe? for a pregnant woman. It is safe. Is it? Yeah, moderate though. Go see your doctor, tell them what you want to have done, and if okay. they're cool with it, I'm cool with it. Is this something that could help migraines? Yeah, most cases, migraines, it's just muscle that's causing the problem anyway. Really? Yeah. And by doing this, you're kind of releasing that muscle. Yeah, absolutely. There's just, it, there's a smaller percentage of people that actually have the chemical imbalance that actually causes a true migraine. Gotcha. Would this help break up scar tissue to allow more flexibility and better mobility in general? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely helps with that, between that and the neuromuscular therapy that I okay. do with them. I've actually seen people turn around and not have to have surgery. Wow. So, yeah. Is it, is, is my shoulder, is my skin gonna die in there? Or am no. I good? It's starting to sure? freak me out. I know, it's like, like the color of Nick's camera. <laughs> Should I be nauseous? Is it gonna pop off the our... <laughs> Grab the camera, we you? Yeah. Our camera guy's gonna pass out. We should uncut me. <laughs> right? Okay, this one's coming. Oh. Holy shoot balls! Holy <laughs> shit balls. I said shoe balls. <laughs> but this is something else. Are you taking off a layer of my skin or am I good? No, oh, you're good. Okay, whew. What Steve's gonna do now is show us some really cool little mobility things that we can do at home. If you're gonna do this on the floor, you're gonna use a tennis ball. So. Right. All right, so like here. You'll know it when you hit it. Oh, Nelly. Got it? I feel it, yep. Okay. So what you're oh, going to yeah, do, insane you're going to do this different. 10 times where you're going to lower your arm and then take it up to where it will stop. So don't try to force it beyond that okay. point. So just do that. I mean, lowering it to where I really feel it. So oh, the trick it. is never to force it beyond where your arm wants to go. Okay. And just over time, it mm -hmm. will slowly release those muscles where the range of motion is a little bit better. Exactly. 
All right, so uh, there you have it. Steve, the muscle guy, the muscle guru, has showed us some really awesome gua sha techniques and also explained why it's not so bad to have this crazy aftermath. It looks a lot more painful than it was, and clearly you guys saw there were some painful moments. I'm not gonna lie, but we're tough. You were tough. Thank you so much. So much good information. Okay, Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel now if you haven't already. If you have any questions about this, about any other techniques that you want to see done or explained, comment below and we'll be sure to respond. Bye guys!